Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and today we are going to be putting together another one of my cactus display pieces for outside because I actually have more cactus than I thought and I really like the way that they look displayed on this like stair stepper thing. So we are going to assemble it. I was thinking that I wanted to get another one and then I just looked at the listing on Amazon to see if the price had changed or anything. And I'm so out of breath right now, I don't know why. And it was like there was only one left. I will link it down below just in case it gets restocked or so you can at least see the product so that you can find something similar. I've only had it for a couple of months, but so far it's held up really nicely. And in the winter time, I do plan on bringing it into the garage because I just think that it would get rusty sitting outside over the winter, like being constantly wet or cold, snowed on and all of that stuff. I'm actually probably gonna put my entire um, wrought iron dining set outside I mean not outside in the garage this winter just because I want to make sure that it stays nice and pretty so it's really simple to put together it's basically just like a bunch of these L's and I'm just going to quickly time lapse us through quickly time lapse us through the process and then we'll get to setting it up and I'll show you um, an update on all of my cacti that have been out there all season so far so that you can see the amount of growth that they've had as well. While I'm assembling the shelf, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to building your brand and building an online presence. I personally use Squarespace for my podcast website, Pot It Together, and it's been really great to sell merch, write show notes, and maybe even someday <laughs> we will use the email campaign feature to keep everyone updated and in the loop about announcements and maybe a new season that's coming out really soon. It was really easy to set up our site on Squarespace by using their drag and drop templates. I was able to input our colors and really just make a site that feels really unique and special to us. It's also super easy to edit whenever we wanna update photos or text on the site. And I was even able to connect our Instagram page to the site so we have updated photos in that way too. So if you're looking for a really easy way to sell products online or get the word out about your business and services, head to squarespace.com slash Becca De La Plants to try a free trial and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, again, using the code Becca De La Plants. Okay, second shelf is built. And I have to say the quality of this one is significantly worse. I don't know if somebody assembled it and then returned it because again, there was no instructions and it's <laughs> honestly very good that I already had the first one because if I didn't have the first one, I would have had no idea what to do and would have had to return it. But I kind of just kept referring back to the first one. A Little bit of trial and error, but we did eventually get it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to another part of the yard. I don't know where. I'm just gonna put it somewhere else for now. And I was thinking this one could go, hold on, let's get a wider shot here so you can see. I was thinking that this one could go something like this, but I think that looks a little bit weird. So I'm just gonna try to actually stick them just next to each other. So that got moved over. This stuff needs to move oh. here. I have some like shorter plants to put on this new one. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna rearrange a little bit here. We'll put this there, move this over. Boobs can go down here, put that there. This is like way too heavy to go on there, so I'm just gonna put it in the corner right here. Cause yeah, that's just like way too much. This one, I suppose right here, so that it could hang in a little bit. I've got my aloe here. This one is doing so good. It's a crested Martillo cactus. You can see 
the blue parts, those are new, like on top. Really cool. This plant hasn't put out new growth for me. I don't know if ever. So I'm super excited about that. Oh, where should this go actually? I kind of like the idea of having all of the little ones at the bottom. I just feel like visually that's going to look better. And then this is my tiger aloe. Put that right there. So that actually ended up being the perfect amount of space for all of these cacti. Please ignore the cord situation. This is so bad. I don't have any charged batteries right now and I really need to film this. <laughs> okay, so first of all, this plant right here, this has not done a ton of growing. I don't know if it's grown at all, but it does look like the markings like in this area are slightly different. So maybe there was some new growth, like maybe from here up, but honestly, I haven't seen a ton of a difference with this one. This one is my Madagascar Ocotillo, and I actually thought this was dead because it lost all of its leaves, which like I suppose I should have not like thought that because of just that alone. But as you can see, it has leaves again and it's looking really good. This up here is new growth in this area, I think. It's just kind of clustered a bit tighter, so that makes me think it's newer. But either way, I'm pretty happy with it. Ocotillo are super common in Tucson, and I don't think it's this variety necessarily, but I just wanted an Ocotillo to remind me of home. With the Silver Torch, I think that this is new growth, like this section right here where it looks a little bit denser. I think that's new. There's definitely some new stuff happening at the top because you can see it looks a lot, I don't know, just puffier. So it's generally looking really good and I'm super happy with it. I like to keep the really tall ones closer to the window so that if anything were to happen, they would probably just lean in towards the window and not out this way. Next up, we've got the fence post cactus and this one has done a lot of growing. I believe that it starts here. So all of this should be new, I'm pretty sure. There's like some markings around this area that I'm seeing and I think that it has grown quite significantly this season. These like spines up here are red, so I think that means that they're newer. I honestly haven't paid a ton of attention to cactus growth in my past, so uh, despite loving them so much, I kind of just like let them be. So now that I'm actually looking for growth signs, I think that that red, redness at the top would indicate that that is new growth, so. Looking really good there. My spiralis is also looking really great. I don't see like a clear spot where new growth has been coming out, but it has plumped up again and it's looking pretty good in that regard. It is looking a little bit pale, but I don't know if it was always that pale or if it just looks a little bit more pale than usual. I might come out here and put some fertilizer in all of these pots because they have been getting a lot of water this season and I wouldn't want them to be nutrient deficient, although cactus are not super heavy feeders, but I have never fertilized these before, so it's probably about time. And the saguaro, which you saw me repot the other day, I have it on this top shelf, which I'm a little nervous about because it is a little bit wobbly not like entirely wobbly but it's just slightly wobbly and i have it leaning up against this corner here so i think that that'll hold it in place pretty well and the pot is very heavy in itself so i think that it'll be fine but um this one was just way too big to put up there with it so it's just gonna sit down here um, i wish that i could put it up here but i think it is also just too big for the shelf like i just think it would overpower everything else this one is my recently repotted monkey tail cactus and when i bring this back inside i might put it in a macrame hanger i think i have like a leather macrame hanger and i might put it in that somewhere in the house i'm not sure maybe i'll actually i couldn't put it on the wall because i chose this pot but yeah i think this looks really good this is a newer plant some people are asking me how i got it to be so big and I actually got it this big. It was sent to me by Equigenera and I did not grow it this big unfortunately but hopefully it will continue on this trajectory and look really nice. The golden torch or the yellow torch looks really good. I haven't noticed significantly lots of new growth or anything. There is something happening currently but this one I don't know it doesn't show as much if there's new growth but it looks really healthy which I'm happy about. I do feel like maybe there's a little maybe like an inch or two. 
<laughs> okay, this one it was, I think, like a blue torch or something like that. It looks really good. These babies are getting a little bit bigger, but again, not too heavy of growth there. This one, I think, is called a pincushion cactus, and this one is constantly having mushrooms. I don't know why this one only, but as you can see, there's a ton of like dried mushrooms there, and there's a couple of active ones currently. But the other day, it had like probably 10 mushrooms just lining this entire thing. It was really cool. This is my snowflake euphorbia and this one has definitely put out some new growth. I want to say from like here up is new. Uh, these spikes up here are like a nice fresh green color and the ones down here are more of like a white aged definitely aged color so you can see where the new growth is on this one that just looks really cool. Okay so my prickly pear I do think that there is something new happening. You can see on the top there, there's a little bit of a bud in this area. And all of them have, all of the top pads have something like that. So I'm hoping that it'll put out some new pads. We'll see. It's really pretty as is and it looks super healthy, but I would love to see some new growth on there. And then we're going to sneak down here. This is another like blue torch-esque cacti. And again, I don't know if there's a lot of new growth. This one looks like it's put out some new growth. And so has this one, maybe like two inches or an inch and a half. And then the booby cactus, I don't really have much to compare it to because I just got this, but there are some new boobs emerging. So hopefully she's on a good trajectory. Same with the penis cactus, just recently repotted that. And the color of that pot looks really good with the rest of them. It is a little bit different, but I think it adds a really nice variety. So I'm happy with that. This tiger aloe went through it at the beginning of the season because I just had it straight outside. I didn't acclimate it and it got a little bit burnt. You can see it's the same with this crested martillo cactus. So it is putting out some new growth, they both are. So they have recovered from that and they've acclimated, but it was a little bit of a rough go of it at first. And it's the same thing with this aloe here, uh, but I really wasn't worried about it. Aloe is very tough and it did pull through. It got really sunburned. So you can see there's like some pink and like brownish looking leaves. And now all the new growth that's come out since then is nice and green. And then of course we have the i forgot what variety like what family this belongs to and um, the name oh astrophytum there we go this astrophytum is looking really good it's also one of the newer ones so don't really have much to compare it to just yet but yeah this is the complete cactus collection i do actually have one more inside that i would consider a cactus it's the tephro cactus i think that i want to put that out here but I, i'm just not sure because it's doing pretty well out, like inside and it would be kind of hard to replace if I lost it. So I just don't know. I've been a little hesitant to bring it out here. But anyway, everything's looking so good. I think that this additional bench has just made this look so cool. And I'm really proud of all of my cacti for doing so well. And just, yeah, they look absolutely beautiful. I love all of the different terracotta. This is just such a beautiful spot. Okay, so it's very hot and I'm very sweaty it's super humid I can just hear the mosquitoes like coming up with a battle plan to come and eat me alive so I'm going to go back inside and I hope that you enjoyed this video seeing my cactus collection just like an update on them some people have asked me how I take care of all of these during the winter time and to be completely honest with you I kind of just like scatter them around the house and I water them maybe one time in the winter and they don't usually put out growth during that time but if they do put out growth it doesn't look very good if I'm honest. So yeah, but this year I will have the greenhouse, fingers crossed. So I'll just be able to put them in there and they should continue to grow through the winter. I might even just put these shelves in the greenhouse. Like I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do um, in that way, but there's definitely gonna be plenty of space for them in there. So I'm just gonna put them all in there, hope for the best. They will be fine as long as the temperatures don't go below like freezing. So. I mean, the euphorbia might not like that. <laughs> they might not like that at all, actually. So I strive to bring them in when it's like 50 degrees to 40, 45 to 50 degrees minimum is when I usually bring things in. Um, the cactus in, I bring in the tropicals like when it drops below 60. And honestly, it's usually more like 
50 if I'm honest because that time of year there's lots of things happening and I might be a little bit busy but thank you so much for watching this video I'm super excited that this area is like now complete I love the way that it looks it's so beautiful and if you enjoyed it make sure you give this video a like and share it with a planty friend if you have any friends who have cactus and you want to encourage them to bring them outside this is definitely a really doable setup and I think that your plants will absolutely love it. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.